Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 283. Antiarrhythmics, Sodium Channel Blockers, Class 1B. What are some of the Class 1B Sodium Channel Blockers antiarrhythmics? Some of the Class 1B drugs include lidocaine, mexilatine, and tokenide. What is the mnemonics to help you remember the drugs that are in the class 1B group of antiarrhythmics, the sodium channel blockers? The class 1B mnemonics to help you remember this is just remember the quote, I would buy Liddy's Mexican tacos. The I'd buy part stands for the class 1B, Liddy's is for lidocaine, Mexican is for mexilatine, and tacos is for tokenide. What is the mechanism of action of the class 1B sodium channel blockers antiarrhythmics? The mechanism of action is to decrease the action potential, and it preferentially affects the ischemic or the depolarized Purkinje and the ventricular tissues. In what situation are the class 1B sodium channel blockers antiarrhythmics useful? The class 1B sodium channel blockers are useful in acute ventricular arrhythmias, especially post-MI and in digitalis induced arrhythmias. What are some of the toxicities and side effects of using class 1B sodium channel blockers antiarrhythmics? Some of the toxicities include CNS stimulation or depression, and they can also lead to cardiovascular depression. One other thing to note about them is some of the drugs in this group are also used as local anesthetics. One other thing to also note is to remember that the class 1B sodium channel blockers antiarrhythmics are best post-MI. What is another name of a drug that we have not talked about that also falls under the class 1B category of sodium channel blocker antiarrhythmics? The name of that drug is phenytoin. Name some of the drugs that fall under the class 1C sodium channel blockers antiarrhythmics. Some of the drugs in the class 1C category include fleconide and propofenone. Describe the effect that class 1C sodium channel blockers antiarrhythmics have on the action potential. Class 1C sodium channel blocker antiarrhythmics does not have an effect on the action potential. In what situation are the class 1C sodium channel blockers antiarrhythmics useful in? Class 1C antiarrhythmics are useful in ventricular tachycardias that progress to ventricular fibrillation and in intractable supraventricular tachycardia. They are usually only used as a last resort in refractory tachyarrhythmias for patients without structural abnormalities. What is the difference between class 1B and class 1C antiarrhythmics in terms of their usefulness in arrhythmias? Class 1B antiarrhythmics is best post-MI, whereas class 1C is contraindicated post-MI, and it's also contraindicated in patients that have structural heart disease. What are some of the toxicities or side effects that can arise from class 1C antiarrhythmics? Some of the toxicities and side effects of class 1C antiarrhythmics is they can also be proarrhythmic, especially post-MI. So therefore, they are contraindicated post-MI and should not be given. These group of drugs can also significantly prolong the refractory period of the AV node. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.